what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an image, it's a piece of artwork, and I want your like immediate thoughts that come to mind as soon as you see it. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you a photo and just want your like opinion on the photo. Okay, immediate thoughts. Your, okay, yeah, cool. Exactly. very um, dark. <laughs> uh, he loves animals, I guess. Um, look, he's got a knife. He's killed those animals. Yeah. I don't know. I think is it got. What animals is around him? Uh, a beef. I mean, okay. A, a so cow. it's got to do with like food. Like they're saying they love animals, but they're actually eating them, and killing them. So it's pretty like. Yeah, exactly. So showing the other side of like the food industry. Oh, okay, I know what this is about. So it's people who, like, it's the vegan versus meat eaters battle at the moment. So there's a lot of people who just draw the line at uh, what animals are okay to eat and not. I suppose I do it myself as well. Um, it's just, I know it's hard. I think it's just what we've been brought up to uh, believe and sort of to do. Because I myself, I, I grew up with, like, pigs and sheep. And actually, I saw some of them being slaughtered because that was, like, very common. Oh, like, yeah. you know, so I've lived in sort of the countryside. I just think it's like it's embedded in the culture, so you can't really like get rid of it, can, can you? I don't know. Why not? Mm. Chicken's nice. Yes. To be honest, chicken's just nice. But people enjoy eating that meat. So you think that like the taste of the animal is more important than its life? Do you think that you can love animals if you kill them? Yeah, I think it's like it's just human nature, isn't it? This, like animals eat animals, and we're animals as well. Do you think, think we need to eat animals then to survive? Kind of for the protein. It does make your stomach churn if you know, if you find out how they're actually being slaughtered, that's the thing, and a lot of people don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. that blissful sort of ignorance, isn't it? You yeah. don't know, it's just, it's there, it's already dead, it's fine. So, do you feel now, like, looking at the image, that you're gonna maybe consider what actually happens before you eat the burger, or? Like, I've always thought about that, but that, obviously. I mean, I've seen animals get killed in front of me, Have like, you? in Pakistan, I mean, um, How was that? Like they set the animal's throat in front of you. Yeah. I mean, it kind of put me off for a day, but then I was like, chicken's good. So yeah. The worst part was seeing a sheep being slaughtered. I think that was something that they didn't really want me to see because it's bloody, it's gruesome for a child to see. And since then, I can't touch lamb. That's something oh, okay. I do not eat lamb. That's uh, interesting. It's yeah. uh, some other other meats. I don't know why that didn't affect me. Like pork and chicken, I can. But um, the sheep is just something that makes my stomach churn because they were friends. Yeah. They were like like my friends. I grew to love them, and they just got you know killed oh, okay. basically. I think people don't look at as animals as a liver, the the food we eat as live, living creatures. Really? They just look at it as food, yeah. So they don't really make that connection between no. the slaughter and then what ends up on your plate kind no, of thing. No. Yeah, like all the, Why don't you think that they really think, think of them as living money. creatures, right? They okay, care about, it's money. about money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's acceptable that we like love some animals and have them as pets and you know, we really treasure them, but other animals we kind of raise for food. Like do you think that's that's okay that we do that? I don't think it's okay, um, but it it must be just from how we're being brought how up. How we're conditioned. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. uh, you know you, we do get sort of um, affected or like uh, influenced every day, isn't it? Yeah. So that's something. As a child, you believe in your parents. If they say it's okay, you sort of grow up to think it's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only later on in life you start to think exactly. for yourself. Would I you think, guys I think, say that you love animals? Yeah, I like animals. I like dogs. Like, yeah, no yeah, one yeah. complains about like lions eat animals, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like in um, animals, also rape other animals. Would you agree? with that and lions eat their babies like as well God. Lions are crazy. I don't think we can really like compare yeah. ourselves to lions because you know they do so we're much also um, never do. built differently as well we're um, our the way we chew is like herbivores yeah. so we, we chew like this to eat plants so yeah, sure. yeah we don't have like you know massive in sizes like what lions have but I think it's been going on for generations to eat animals yeah yeah so you can't change it it's just like it's a thing. Even my son, because I'm thinking, you know, I want him to get protein and, and, and he's always had like vegetables and things. I'm thinking, why am I forcing him to eat meat? Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I should just, as, as, as there's a chicken or pork, I should just say, maybe you want some chickpeas or, or like yeah. lentils and maybe or he will tofu. be much more yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Meat alternatives, chicken, so, chicken nuggets, like the fries ones. Have you heard of those? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I've never had tried those, but I've heard. It's just like, seriously. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you've caught me at a very good time. It's the last couple of weeks. It's been sort of a time of a awakening it's so great. yeah yeah it's just not gonna work. I, I mean you could try eating, it there's nothing wrong with eating meat but like some of like you know, McDonald's where they do them at like the farming they do where it's like the slaughterhouses 
I think that's wrong. I mean, organic meat is good, right? Because like the animals are free to move, they have a good life, then they get slaughtered, and then that's it. But do you think that you can ever humanely slaughter an animal? You can't humanely slaughter anything. That's, no. that's the truth. But so, do you think it's okay to like give them a good life and like you know let them run around, but then still kill them at the end of it? Yeah, about like, setting an example as well. That's yeah. very true, and I was just thinking that because I'm, I'm a personal trainer myself. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So um, my clients listen to me, and like my, my partner is also um, a personal trainer, and we both noticed that with drinking milk, because I don't drink it that often, yeah. only with protein shakes, yeah. right. um, that we feel bloated and yeah. sort of very uncomfortable for days and yeah. days. Only after a couple of days after you feel back to your normal you self. Their brains are less developed than ours. It's just true, so, their brains so are less developed. Are you saying that we're more superior to animals? Yeah, we're more superior than animals. I believe that. So we have a right to dictate them, do we? We don't have a right, but like we, we do because we control the earth. You don't see ants controlling the earth, humans control the earth. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Um, last week I um, had steak. Actually, it didn't taste as nice anymore after I'd been so sort of kind of like started to. I think so. Yeah, it just I it was sort of going around in my mouth, and I was thinking because I had seen some videos and things online, and just so like making the connection between yes, it now. Exactly. Yeah. And so, what do you say about if we're controlling the earth? What do you say about us destroying, uh, like deforestation, destroying the planets? We, I mean, we're causing global global warming. What do you say to that? Well. Um, we need like fuel for things. We shouldn't use as much fuel as we do, but we still need it. It's important. It's part of the sustainability for the. And do you know what is the leading contributor to these the global warming and pollution? Killing okay, animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up to fifty-one percent of greenhouse gas emissions are caused by animal agriculture. So every single day, you know, you can actually make a massive difference. You can save like one thousand one hundred gallons of water every single day by being vegan and so much less land as well because to feed animals you have to grow their crops first and then you have to provide land for the animals before you kill them whereas if you you know just eat plants you cut out that middleman so you need you know way less land and resources water and they you know they fart and they produce methane um, as well and then the transport of everything it's really it's a really complex issue um, yeah what do you think about that Life goes on, to be honest. Because, um, you know, horses, I believe a horse as a pet in a way, so like horse meat I don't eat either, so lamb, but again, I'm, you know, really biased because cow, chicken and pork, I, I do eat, you know. I mean, you can do it if you want, it's your personal choice. And you can persuade other people, that's fine, but you can't force it down people's throats to like, tell them to stop doing it. Just going back to what you said about personal choice, yeah. It's not really a personal choice when there's a victim involved because you are effectively, you know, pushing your views onto an animal and the animal then has to die because of your personal, personal choice. choice. So it's not really a personal choice because, you know, something has to die for what you what you think. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are you aware of the, because um, you're aware of the meat industry a lot. Yes. So are you aware of um, what happens in the dairy industry as well? Um, like to the extent of what they go to. What I what the what I what I know is that um, basically I know that the animals are crammed into very small spaces and literally just um, wired up or like sort of into those tubes and like yeah, just yeah. the milk being basically sucked out of them, which yeah. is disgusting. Yeah. And the worst thing I think was what I saw when the, the baby calves actually immediately get separated from yeah, the mothers yeah, yeah. because that's obviously when the milk is there and and that really really did not sit so well they, with me. They don't drink it so that we can have the milk. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a sad life, and I just thought I, I don't want that milk anymore. Like the more yeah, I see yeah. these things, it just puts me off. The worst is even um uh, I, I saw this horrible video about like baby chicks as well. Like you know, yeah, like chicken. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's disgusting. The way they hatch and then they're the straight into the grinder. Just, they get, yeah, they get and like. It's just it's a horrible yeah. world we're, yeah. we're, yeah. we're living really. Yeah. So yeah. Well, the dairy industry is actually worse than the meat industry because they not only kill the animals but they impregnate them as well. They take away their babies from birth and kill them on the spot. They get the, I mean the egg industry, they get the male chicks and grind them up as soon as they're born. Um, so the dairy industry is actually a lot worse than the meat industry. Um, There's death involved with like every kind of animal product. There's some, something has to die somewhere. Even, even for your health, like milk has hormones in it that you just 
isn't right for your body. Milk is made to grow a baby calf into a massive cow, so it's full of growth hormones, which if humans ingest, actually can cause cancer growth because there's so much hormones. Well, a lot of things can cause cancer oh, nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally everything can. So. I know, but there's so much science behind, you know, dairy. But don't you think it's a bit weird as well that we drink, drink milk? We're the only, you know, animals that drinks milk into adulthood. Don't you think that's a bit odd that we do that? Like, no other species drinks yeah. another species' milk. Like, you don't see a lion cub going to drink a cow's tip kind of thing. Well, yeah, that is kind of weird. But humans are fucked up anyway. Well, you heard that um, they actually impregnate the cows as well. No, I didn't so know that. So they actually um, rape the cows to be able to produce the milk for cows. So is that sort of like a constant... Yeah, yeah. so like, constant basically, time. you have the cows and like, because they don't produce milk like any other mammal if they're not pregnant. Like, they, yeah. like they get a, basically, it's kind of messed up. They get a bull and they make him ejaculate and they get that and then they, like, rape the cow in like what you call a rape rack. That's what yeah, the, the industry yeah. calls it. And like, you... Yeah, and it's not only through like the vagina; it's also through the anus because they have to make it go in, and it's like it's really gruesome. Like it's just it abusing the. Really the I'm not yeah, lying right yeah, now. It's, it's pretty it's disgusting, disgusting to think. Yeah. And like, but would you drink your girlfriend's milk? Uh, you say you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Sure. So right. why so wouldn't cool. you drink it? Do you think that's weird? Yeah. Is it, is it yes. gross? Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Yeah. So why isn't it gross that you drink another animal's milk? That's like a totally different animal as well. Like totally the fact that you're drinking, you're literally drinking something from a nipple of another animal. It's quite disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah. pretty wrong. And did you know as well that because cows um, have been selectively bred over many years, they actually produce 10 times more milk than they would naturally in the wild. And because of that, their udders get massive and they get swollen nipples. And they get infections in their nipples as well called mastitis. And that means that when um, you milk them, the infections in their nipples actually have pus in them and inflammation. And by law in the UK, 100 million cells of pus are allowed in every single glass of milk. So when you drink milk, you are drinking pus. Because they're not actually able to filter that out. No, they can't filter it out. It's the same with meat as well. I mean, there's feces in your meat. Yeah. The dairy industry is almost worse than the meat industry because with the meat industry they're raised and then they're killed. Yeah, yeah, but yes. with the dairy industry they're raised, they're raped, Rape, the yeah. babies are taken away, then they're yeah. raped again and babies are taken away and then they're killed and sold for beef like when they're yeah. about four years old. And their really natural terrible. lifespan is 20 years. I was just yeah. going to say that yeah. they can't live that long, can yeah. they? Yeah. Cause they, they oh. And that, now I understand the meaning of stressed meat because that's something I came yeah. across as a teenager yeah. I never really knew what it was. And at the time I suppose, thank goodness for this like like day and age, like every, like all the information is yeah. available because yeah, back definitely. then there was nowhere to check or look. You know, yeah. internet was the slow mode. As yeah. well. so, um, wow, that is, I did not yeah, know yeah. that. I, I mean, think, you can try I yourself think, like, to stop the... it. Like you guys, you guys are vegan, right? So yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. you can do it yourself. Like it's fine. You can try persuading other people, but it won't work, to be honest. Why not? It's like seven billion people on Earth, and like a lot of them eat meat. Yeah. You think, how about I don't eat this because I don't have to? And it's actually like if I choose, I know one person can't make a difference, but if there's more, you know, one, all these it's like single a domino people, effect, isn't exactly. It? Yeah. You sort of pass it on. I have a lot of vegan friends, and and it it, it is growing momentum, I think. And and if if the industry sees that the consumption isn't as great, surely they would stop slaughtering, you know, as many animals. So yeah. Yeah. even if it just Exactly, domino effect year by year. If it, if, if it like, reduces the amount of animals killed, I think that's exactly. a great thing. So well, Nice meeting you guys. It was, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was good what you guys thanks said. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, thanks for us like, going right, was, on, but yeah. I really appreciate that. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's Thank great you. meeting you guys. Yeah, you yeah. Too, yeah. Slow, things. slow yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like a domino effect. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to me.